My name is Angel Gray and I'm the Program and Policy Manager here at Westchester Children's Association. Through the implementation of Raise the Age, it has given young people the opportunity to avoid being funneled throughout the adult criminal justice system and places them in a system where they're able to receive services and support. I think some of the major challenges is getting everyone to understand that many of the behaviors that are being displayed by youth are being criminalized. We need to treat children and youth in an age-appropriate manner. Another challenge is a disproportionate impact on minority youth and children who are involved in the criminal justice system. So understanding those numbers and why certain marginalized communities and youth from these communities are being impacted at such high rates. Another challenge is a traumatic component of it. You know, many youth in this space are experiencing things throughout the system that they have never experienced in their lives and their body keeps score. Different triggers may show up in different areas of their lives. When it comes to Raise the Age, WCA plans to continue to advocate and stay in the spaces where we know that our state partners are working to ensure that youth are receiving the proper services and support that it's set out to do. We want to make sure there's allocated funding in order for community programs to access and apply for this funding as well through the Youth Innovation Fund in order to actually deliver on the promises of Raise the Age. My name is Limerie Cabrera and I am the Director of Data Operations and Finance at Westchester Children's Association. My name is Daniel Bonet. I am the Chief Program Officer at the Borchester Carver Center. Shelter is such a basic need and yet in one of the richest counties in the nation we're still struggling to get our children stably housed. We have a motto that in order for young people to thrive the family has to thrive as well and you have families that are multi-dwelling. You have three different families that are working together to pay rent on a three-bedroom apartment. And we know that that has an impact on not only the educational front, but also the social and mental health of our young people. We take complex issues affecting children and we distill it to something that's understandable and comprehensible so people can talk about it and people can act on it. One of the most important things that fascinated me about the Westchester Children's Association is the graphs and an analysis of the data that they were capturing on a yearly basis to really help nonprofit organizations understand the numbers and the story behind those numbers. Westchester County is very lucky to have an organization such as the Westchester Children's Association. They're giving a voice to those that do not have a voice. Uh, they're giving a voice to those that do not know how to speak or advocate for themselves. They're doing the work to really trying to move the needle and making an impact for a better community in Westchester County. My name is Linda Ramos and I am a parent. My name is Gabriela Nana and I am the Program and Policy Associate at Westchester Children's Association. WCA recently launched our Child Poverty Focus Group Report, Uplifting Courageous Voices from the Front Lines of Poverty in Westchester. This is the result of months of work in our Westchester Community Health Centers, speaking with parents who are on the front lines of poverty. If a child's basic needs, such as food stability, housing, health, uh, are not met, how can we possibly expect them to thrive? I'm a mother making ends meet, not having enough to eat at the end of the day because the SNAP benefits run out. Prescriptions are so expensive, you can't afford them. Rent is so high, it's tough just to try to make it. WCA is currently on the Child Poverty Reduction Advisory Council with New York State's governor. In that advisory council, we've been able to collaborate with other community partners about poverty solving solutions and programs. Without the Westchester Children's Association, it would be more homeless, more hunger, more medical issues. We would be lost. People wouldn't know what to do. They wouldn't know where to go. They wouldn't know where to get the answers. They would be in a place that no one wants to be.